Today's research update will discuss rumen protected choline. At a recent conference, Dr. Heather White at the University of Wisconsin Madison summarized some pretty updated new information that we should be aware of. First, she reported on a meta analysis. A meta analysis looks at all the research that's been published on a subject matter and combining it into one summary totally. She looked at 21 different studies. There was 66 different treatments, over 1,300 cows in here. And the responses were very impressive. Uh, they were feeding typically about 13 grams per day of rumen protected choline in all these studies here. And we saw an increase of 1.6 kilograms of milk or 1.7 kilograms of energy corrected milk in these studies here. The other good news is there was an increase in dry matter intake, uh, prepartum about 0.2 kilograms, and postpartum about a half a kilogram intake as well. There were slight increases in milk fat and milk protein, probably related more to the production of the cows, and there was an increase in blood glucose and glycogen levels as well. Certainly it indicates that this feed additive can have a real impact in the transition cow. Uh, the other thing that came up was methyl donors. Methyl donors are really important because they, they impact uh, the metabolism of the animal. Uh, we have choices there, as you'd expect. Uh, choline would be one source, methionine would be a second source, betaine a third source, and foliate would be another source of these methyl donors. What they do basically is form phosphatidylcholine type products, uh, especially from the choline aspect. We can also increase production of the glutathione uh, pathway and that helps on immunity and reduce uh, radical oxy uh, oxidizers and of course regeneration of some of the key byproducts needed by the animal. If there is a lack of methyl donors in the ration, or for the cow, we'll see increase in liver inflammation. Of course, liver is a very key function organism we have to have. A decrease in liver oxidation, and then a decrease in methylation of DNA. And this has some impacts basically on offspring of the cow uh, when she's carrying calf as well. So certainly that's important. Another aspect she reported on was calves. This is based on some Florida data that uh, cows that were fed rumen protected choline while carrying calf saw an increase in average daily gain by about a tenth of a kilogram per calf per day. And this carried on well into the life of the calf as far as that goes as well. We also saw a improvement in lung development and function, an increased improvement in white cell uh, oxidation, and uh, certainly a decrease of um, the benefits of when fed to the dam. There's also some advantage in colostrum absorption by absorbing more of the immune globulin as well. So certainly a rumen protected choline appears to have some new opportunities to be placed in high producing dairy cow rations and animal health during the transition program. Thanks. Have a great day.